Thanks for watching. Today we're going to talk about drilling for handles on the CNC machine. Let's get into it. All right, so first thing you're going to want to do is go to your libraries tab and hardware. And then you want to go to the polls submenu. So within here, you have a lot of different things that allow you to modify the location of the handle, um, decide whether or not you want to drill the handle or not, uh, also adding in your SketchUp documents. So you can add different poles and handles custom. Uh, we're not going to get into that part today. Mostly what we're going to get into is setting up your library to drill for handles. Um, if you're drilling or if you're manufacturing your doors, you are, you're absolutely crazy not to drill for handles. I know it's a lot of uh, like foresight that you have to have with your clients to make sure that you're getting the drilling correct. Uh, but to me, it seems uh, like such a time saver in the back end, like the install side. And we've been drilling our handles on the CNC for years now. Um, so if you want to go ahead and start setting this up, First, what you have to do is pick your handle length. So we have a few different ones. We just put a little HC for Hillcrest cabinets. So we know which ones we've set up for ourselves. Um, like for instance, 128 millimeter handles are quite common. Um, I would recommend having a bunch of different handles, handle styles set up. Uh, so that's the top menu. Then you have over here, whether it's a knob or a handle, um, you can input your cost, your markup, and all that, where it really gets into the stuff you want to uh, get in order to get the drilling working for the CNC machine. This is the little box you want to deal with here. So uh, for this handle, you I'll just change it to millimeters. This is easier to work in if, you, if you're setting up handle drilling. Uh, usually it'll set up a five millimeter hole that's your separation from hole to hole, 128 millimeter. Uh, this little menu is whether you want to drill the face side or the back side. So as you can see, if you hover over it, it just explains. Uh, so you're, if you have this selected, you're drilling it from the face side. Therefore, if you're pocketing out the front face, you would want to have this selected. That way, all your operations would be on the same side. If you're doing slab doors and you want to uh, do your hinge holes and everything on the slab doors, you're going to want to have this unselected. This drill drawer box front would be if you have melamine drawer boxes, uh, it will allow you to add holes to your drawer box front. Um, there's one other thing when you're getting into this in order for it to actually function properly that you have to look out for that we'll discuss a bit later. Um, so that would be how you set up your drilling. Um, all these menus are mostly just for locating your ha your handles. So um, this would be kind of the SketchUp file full length. So if you have a bar pole with a little bit of extra on the ends, you can add your overall length there. Uh, this would be the SketchUp model height in millimeters at this point. Uh, this would be your distance from top edge of the door down, uh, bottom, uh, and then from the inset from the edge of the door in. Uh, and then you have your drawer pull for the vertical location. And if you have nothing here, it's going to set it right in the middle, which is quite common. So we end up usually just leaving these at zero, but I do have one with an offset from the top version um, somewhere in there. So that's how you're dealing with that. You can also change the orientation of the handle here and if you select that, it'll switch it to horizontal. And you can also have centered. So that would be if you had maybe a garbage pullout or something like that, um, you could change it to that. So that's it for this menu. You, you may end up, if you're setting this up for the first time, find one that's close, copy it, rename your copy, whatever you need it to be and then set these settings so that you have them set up for yourself. So that's the first step. The second step is you have to go to the doors that you're actually using. 
and I don't think this works for all door styles. Um, I'm pretty sure it does not work for the traditional style doors. Uh, I don't have any in this library. Um, the miter doors, I think it does work for. The slab doors definitely does work for. Uh, let's maybe I should add one. Yeah, there's no drilling option here. So if we go to, yeah, so not even for the miter doors. It's only available for the slab doors and the routed doors. So there's a little menu right here where you get a bunch of options to bore for hinge, bore for locks, bore for pulls. Uh, that's where you want to make sure it is selected because a lot of people go and set up all these handles and then they go, well, I said, told it to drill for whatever. It's not going to do it unless your door style is selected to bore for pulls. So you got to make sure this little checkbox is selected. Uh, make sure you're using the correct door. Now, if you have a, say you have a cabinet that you're dropping in, and you need to modify the handle, if you do a little adjustment here under the face tab uh, for the pull, it will modify the drilling to correspond with this. So you can adjust your handle and it will adjust the drilling. Um, let's see here, let's go to the front view. So as you can see, we're getting two little holes. And then I'll go to my drilling here uh, for my door, edit operations and you can see because I have drill face side selected it's currently doing that on the same side of the operations as my bevel my panel pocket is uh, that being said the last thing we've got to worry about is um, if you go to the uh, let's go to a three drawer bank So Mosaic will drill your handles in right in the center of the door. And that's all we really care about. But the location on the drawer box itself will change based on how the door overlays on top of the stretcher below and like how much space there is um, from the edge of the drawer to the edge of the door. So that being said, you have to pay close attention to when you're putting your drawer boxes into your cabinet when you're finally assembling it, that you have the A section drawer box going into the A hole. That doesn't matter for the top one. That's evident that the skinny one goes on top. But between these two, you want to make sure that you're putting this drawer in its drawer location. Otherwise, these holes are not going to line up with your actual... The reason that they give that option um, because you can fasten your drawer fronts. You can do it with just the bolts like loosely so you can move it around still and get your alignment correct. Or you can use a couple dowels, five millimeter dowels and push it on and then it'll locate it according to the machining properties properly on the door. Um, so you gotta make sure you get this set up on the right, uh, the drawer box put into the right opening, A, B and C. And it always starts uh, from A at the very top and works down from there. So it'll be A, B, C, D, however many there are. That's how it always uh, registers these letters. And another thing to consider, so we did this for our labels because when we're cutting on the machine, <clears throat> excuse me, when we're cutting on the machine, we want to have uh, our, let's see here, opening letter. So that, little variable, I guess it's this one actually, this opening letter variable needs to be showing on the stickers so that when we're assembling our drawer box, we know which opening that this drawer box is for. And the only real one that matters is the front of that drawer box, especially in our library, because the bottom drawer and the middle drawer are the same height. So um, as long as that front one is the same, that's all that really matters. So you can add that in there to your labels to help you differentiate when you're assembling. And that's pretty much it for setting it up. Um, from that point, you're literally just running it out to your CNC 
and sending out the code. So uh, thanks for watching. Have a great one.